So, um, excited about coffee delivery day, as always. However, as you'll soon see, before I get to enjoy this delicious coffee, I'm gonna have to do something about my machine. And you'll see more about why shortly. Usual routine, I guess, for most of us in the morning. And it's long been a belief of mine that to not clean this machine for any length of time will result in the dreaded leak. Um, it has pained me to make this video because I have left my machine without cleaning for at least six weeks. And knowing my luck, it won't happen on this particular brew, but what has been happening is there's been a lot of overspill and normally a mug size will almost perfectly fit one of these mugs. And what has actually been happening is we're getting the uh, coffee seems to be spilling over more than it normally does. And it also seems to be leaking like a thick, uh, gooey coffee residue from the bottom of the machine. Now this is not normal. It's not something that's happened to me in two and a half years of ownership. This is only something that's happened after I've made the decision to effectively not clean the machine for a little while. It seems to have poured that fairly normally. So we'll have a look underneath the machine and we'll see if I can show you what I'm on about with the leak. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed. There doesn't seem to be much there. Uh, I can tell you that when I came to look at the machine uh, this morning, there was quite a big pool of uh, coffee underneath where we normally keep it. And I believe that this accumulates over many, many, many days rather than it just appears after one cup. But my wife has increasingly been um, having to mop up after it and so have I. So this is what we're talking about, this leak that seems to happen at the bottom of the machine, which isn't particularly evident in this video, but let me assure you that this morning I had to clean up quite a bit of a mess. Also, I just want to look at the, the drip tray. We've, and again, it pains me to say that I have left this for a while, but look at that. I mean, it's thick, black and sticky. And while that's pretty easy to wash away, the contents of the drip tray you can see that that's just like tar and so that's not going to easily wash off even if I put it sort of directly under the tap you, know, you can still see you've got embedded grounds there so imagine that on the inside of your machine, um, having not cleaned it really for any length of time, and you get into grips with the kind of problem that your machine's probably having to go through, trying to do its normal operation when it's covered in thick, black, and um, very, very sticky, tar-like coffee residue, because the normal cleaning cycle isn't going to necessarily remove everything. So what I'm going to describe to you is my cleaning regime. So you can understand what I do to get the machine as thoroughly cleaned as I possibly can before use. And this is something that I will do probably about every third cleaning cycle. And normally I'd run a cleaning cycle about once a week. I've got a big bowl to store the water in. I filled the reservoir up and I first of all run a couple of cleaning cycles through um, in the normal way. So turn on the machine and then three quick presses. That's because I've got a capsule in there. Yeah, that was over full as well. And off it goes. So as you guys will probably do, I've given these items a bit of a clean inside out and out so they uh, just need to dry and I've run the cleaning cycle through and there you can see 
that murky stuff in there is the water that's come through the machine but really and truthfully we should be mindful of just how much muck is left in the machine so hopefully I'll be able to illustrate that now first of all let's let's tip that dirty water away and before I do another cycle let's open it up and have a look inside so you've just observed me do a cycle in there I'm going to run a, uh, a cloth round in there so I've got some wet uh, kitchen roll here it's giving that a wipe round the inside of the machine there and just look at that it's absolutely filthy so as you can see the normal cleaning cycle is not going to dislodge that dirt in any way shape or form we're going to need to get in there with a toothbrush and give it a really proper clean now top tip here um, everyone it's the use your partner's toothbrush when you are cleaning the Nespresso machine so I'm just going to get a little bit uh, wet and I'm just going to try and dislodge as much of that muck and grime as I can from in here around the outsides of this area here you can see just by the state of the water just how much of that we're dislodging I'm also going to get underneath where the um, machine is pierced let's see if I can put the light on this there we go so up in there you can probably see just how grubby and mucky that is so I'm going to give that a really good scrub all around that area and I'm also going to depress this and clean all around that area and where the uh, those wires are that the coffee capsules slide onto and anywhere I can get access essentially with the toothbrush so I'm about halfway along and I just want to point out I haven't used any detergent or anything else and please I would encourage you not to use detergent of any description and that is just from the residue of what's inside the machine so if you weren't and, and I've run a cleaning cycle already so imagine what's going to come out when I run another cycle okay so you can probably see that that is already you know visibly a lot cleaner but we still haven't got everything out of there that we really need to so I'm going to give it another going over and then I'm going to run a another cleaning cycle and just see how much cleaner the machine is after that okay so I'm going to throw this mucky water away and run it through another cycle So you can see the water is still quite murky and cloudy so I'm going to give it another run through but after I've given it another going over on the insides with the toothbrush I'm also going to have a go at the nozzle underneath because that can get quite claggy and you can see the front of the machine quite stained as well and again I'm not using anything else except hot water no detergents no abrasive pads or anything because I want to keep the machine looking good and we've had it you know over two and a half years and that piano back finish now I've cleaned all the dust off and boy was it nagging me to have all that dust on the machine but I wanted it nice and dirty for this video um, you can see that it's come up like brand new so another run through after another scrub you can see that water is almost perfectly clear so I'm just going to run it through one more cycle give it a wipe down and then I'm going to call it job done that's the fourth cycle and now you can see that the water is almost perfectly clear I consider that to now to be a clean machine and I'm ready to put it back to use so if you start getting uh, nasty horrible black stuff leaking out the back of your machine or it's not uh, making the coffee as, as it normally would or perhaps your mugs are overflowing then my advice is to give it a really really good clean get in there with a toothbrush um, by the way that wasn't my wife's actual toothbrush just so you're aware I was only joking um, give it a really good clean out and let that cycle run through three to four times and you'll have a nice clean machine that will last you uh, as long as you keep looking after it Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to making the next one. 
which will be about the Nespresso Pixie. See you soon. Take care. Bye now.